sophomores who will be entering their junior year this summer is a pivotal time in the recruiting process. Um, Christy, let's talk a little bit about what this date means. Uh, for June 15th, it's really when a lot of contact becomes available for college coaches. Uh, so why don't you start by breaking that down a little bit? What is June 15th? Why is it so important? It's kind of like our tax day almost in the recruiting world. Ugh, tax day is not fun. June 15th is a lot of fun. Um, and I'm actually going to start off a little bit differently because I, I feel like I have a little bit of a unique perspective to this only because um, when I first started college coaching, there were rules in place as to when I could call a kid or when I can text a kid. Um, but I'm sure as everybody kind of noticed, a lot of NCAA rules have recently shifted, um, mainly because there were a lot of eighth, ninth and 10th graders that were committing. Um, I was definitely involved in that. I offered an eighth grader, you know, maybe talk to a seventh grader and offer them full scholarships. Um, and we got around that by different, you know, channels of communication. So I'm actually very excited as a former college coach that this rule was put in place because, you know, we really shouldn't be putting stress on a lot of kids in seventh, eighth, ninth grade. Um, so with that being said, just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of the background as to why June 15th is what it is. Um, but it's essentially the first day that general contact or not general contact, but contact can be made. So if I'm still a college coach and I really love David and I want him on my team, I can pick, the, pick up the phone and give him a call and tell him all about Christie University, tell him why he should come here and play college hockey for me. That is essentially the, the summary of it. But David, I'm sure you're going to get into more detail about it. I commit. Where do I sign? How do I sign? Although no. I haven't. I haven't put on ice skates in, well, I put on ice skates like once That's why in the I last want you. Like 12 years. I'm a little raw, but, you know, my, my wrist there is really, really, really tight these days. So. There we go. Best June 15th call I've ever had, I think. Yeah, but I commit, for sure. Uh, so June 15th uh, in the recruiting world, what that means for Division II schools is that's the first date that a Division II coach can directly contact a student athlete. So a Division II coach can pick up the phone, they can call them, they can text, they can email. Um, direct message, whatever uh, way of communication. Uh, for Division II schools, every sport, June 15th is what initiates that personal contact. So again, if you're a 2024 prospect right now, you're finishing up your sophomore year of high school, June 15th is the first date that Division II coaches can directly call you. Uh, June 15th also has an important date when it comes to Division I schools. Uh, a lot of sports is when the contact period begins. It's June 15th for Division I schools as well. There are certain sports that uh, is September 1st. Uh, our website, ncsasports.org, has a great list of, of all the dates in, in sports in terms of what that contact period can really uh, begin. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe to our channel and check out all the other videos on our page for all things recruiting.